Katrina Suse Nanamihu and Shay Lorne Buffalo lost their sons earlier this month to gun violence. Jeremy Suse was shot and killed at a convenience store. And Jordy Buffalo Cryer was shot and wrapped in a tarp. His body was found in a ditch. The community has had over 700 assaults this year alone. Multiple gun crimes, drug arrests. And members want help from leadership. APTN spoke to Sampson Cree Nation Chief Vernon Saddleback for what is being done to help the community. He says that drugs have become a serious problem. Methamphetamine is, 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 is one of the problems that we have in our community right now. Uh, and so that's kind of what we're kind of focusing on within the nation, that we know meth is becoming a problem in our community. We met with the RCMP yesterday and they confirmed that, that uh, fentanyl is coming into our community slowly, but methamphetamine definitely has a, a, a hold. It's, it's funny, it's in our community, it has a hold in, a, hold in our community now. And he says action is being taken. We're going to do something about this. Uh, I met with the administration and uh, we're going to start with an education process first. You know, I think it's time for us to, to, to educate and train the people of Sam's Creek Nation. This is what meth is. You know, if your children are on meth, if you're, if you're a family or if you know someone, here's the signs and here's what you can do about it. The first session with members was yesterday. Chief Saddleback says the sessions were very successful. Another session is planned for Friday. He says that he has heard from members and action is being taken. They're giving us a message. No matter what they're saying, they're, they have a message and it needs to be heard and needs to be listened to. And that's kind of what we're doing here, right? Where we are kind of looking, all right, there's something going on at the homes, right? What's going on? How can we go in there and support these families? You know, and, and, that's, and that's what we've kind of done. I mean, when we had some of these homicides, our departments were amazing. They responded well. That We pulled people out of homes and, and moved them to Edmonton Park temporarily in, in hotels to keep people safe, make sure and we provide great grief support. He says the Muskogee's RCMP have done a good job, but they cannot cover everything. And a tribal police is an option. He is looking at federal funding to do so. They do the Criminal Code of Canada, we're missing civic policing. So the RCMP don't help us with preventative work on any level. And that's not their fault, that's just not their mandate, right? And so, so it does leave that void. And again, that's why in Samson we're looking at, I mean, we've got to hire our own, you know, one or two guys to be part of our tribal policing, you know, help us with that civic enforcement. He says he wants to consult with elders on the issue of banishment and possibly putting it into law. It's my own personal opinion, but if someone is, 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 is guilty of killing a Samson Cree Nation member, they should be banished. No questions asked. You know, you've lost your rights to be, to be in our territory, if that's the kind of person that you are, right? And so, so I want to pose that question to the elders. Chief Saddleback says there is another option suggested by councillors. You have to look at the, the ambulance calls you have, the police calls we have, you know, you know we have these homicides that have happened, uh, you know, the drug activity, you know, we have to look at all of that, you know, like, is, do we need to call a state of emergency? He says that option will be looked at after the education sessions are completed, with the goal of reducing crime numbers and making the community safe. Chris Stewart, APTN National News, Samson Cree Nation.